car turned back over. But you look at all the great race cars on the front straightaway torn up. We talked about Austin Dillon, Kenny Wallace. You see Nick Hoffman down there. Kent Robinson got caught up in it. Uh, you got West Fall down there as well. Just a West tough West. bill. Yeah, and you get another replay on the FK Rod Instance replay online. And good angle there. You see, man, how violently that 36 of Kenny Wallace. And then the shot that Austin Dillon's car took right in front of the driver's side. But we do need everyone to be back away from the main stage, from the fence area, please, as we continue to get everything cleaned up. Race fans, obviously going to be a few more minutes here. Now, if you need to grab you something to eat or drink, take a pause for the calls. This is a good time to do it. Also, get that Dirt Car Nationals merchandise presented by Summit Racing Equipment, as you see again on the FK Rodden's instant replay. But uh, it's going to be just a few minutes here, so if you want to grab you something to eat or drink, now is a great time to do it. As we've still got three laps to go in this one, and then we're going to come back at you as we've got the main event for the late models coming. And it's going to be 30 laps, 7,000 to win for the UMP Dirt Car Super Late Models. The track crew going to have a little bit of a clean up here on the front stretch, some de debris and uh, some repairs to the racing service. And again, I'm going to give a shout out down there to the Bud Beer Garden in turn one. You can watch all the action as you see one more FK Rod in instant replay angle as you see him coming back to the green. And this is where the chaos broke out. You just see that left wheel come off Hoffman's car. Tough break. And from there, Kenny Walls, well, he was just along for the ride. So that was your instant replay. Thanks again to all the great folks at FK Rod Ends. want to also thank the fine folks at RacePartsTrader.com, the sponsor of the pre-race show today. And again, we're going to be going live again tomorrow about 5.50 p.m. Eastern Time at DirtVision.com and DirtOnDirt.com. Let all your friends and family back home know they can watch the rest of the week live. Multiple announcers.